Hey guys, how are you? I'm really excited to be able to deliver this particular module to you. Uh, it comes at a very crucial time because by now you're starting to want to create the conversions and the leads and use the messaging that you've been creating. Now, the key thing here is to know that sometimes what we can do is we can assume that our landing pages aren't working and blame the landing page when essentially we might have sent the wrong kind of traffic, uh, the wrong kind of people to the landing page uh, and potentially even at, at the wrong time. Uh, now, I'm not going to get too much into it right now, but I wanted to give you some an overview of what we'll be covering in this module because this one is a critical one. We're going to be looking at the some potential sources of traffic uh, on social media, as well as ads, how to make great ads. We're going to be looking at how to make a great landing page, even how to make a great lead magnet. Uh, a great content offer and the reason why we're doing all this is we're kind of co-joining two realms of marketing there's the traffic the sources but then also what happens to the traffic once they get to your website are you looking forward to this because i am so are you ready awesome let's get started so today's session, we're going to be talking about tapping into the sources. And by sources, we mean where the traffic comes from. If you think about a river, uh, where the river comes from is the source, obviously. And uh, if you think about uh, a store opening, like a Nike store opening or an Apple store opening, and uh, people waiting in line and waiting to get in, those people came from somewhere. They heard about the opening somewhere. They might have seen the keynote presentation. Uh, they might have seen a billboard. They might have, a friend might have told them. Um, all these channels that they've heard it from are called the sources. And it's a very important uh, measurement and concept to understand your business. Now, the problem is this. If we don't get the sources right, what ends up happening is we put a ton of effort and time into developing uh, developing our landing pages and our websites and our offers but it's like tumbleweed right it's a ghost town and that's not only a waste of time energy and money it is also incredibly disheartening and often we don't even get a chance to try out our, our uh, marketing offers and and uh, lead magnets because not enough people see it or not enough of the right kind of people see it. Now, if you remember back in high school, uh, if you were one of the cool kids, everybody came to your party and didn't go to someone else's party, right? Uh, if you weren't one of the cool kids, uh, you, it, when they didn't come to the party, your party, uh, maybe it's not your birthday party, maybe it was just a house party, uh, but they went somewhere right and the same is true in digital marketing the people who would have come to your website and landing page they went somewhere uh, because their problem didn't go away they're still looking to solve uh, their problem and somebody would have spoken to them whether they saw an ad or a friend referred them somewhere else uh, or they were just searching and organically as uh, something popped up like on social media or Google search. Uh, if it wasn't you, it's your competition. And the third problem that we find if we don't get our sources really clear uh, is we lose momentum. It's a lot easier to ride a bike uh, when it's moving. And the same is true with uh, marketing. 
sometimes we just don't have enough traffic coming to our site to be able to know whether our marketing is working or not working. And we can make the mistake of assuming that it's therefore our landing page or our business or it's a bad time of year or any number of things that we might tell ourselves. And the realistic thing is, is that it's probably just the source of the traffic, not enough or too much of the wrong kind. So what I want to do is I'm going to take you through uh, how to get the right kind of sources, the right kind of traffic and from the right places for your business and uh, enough of it. And we're going to go through a couple of things. But before we get into that, I need you to understand three concepts and these three principles are reach. Now reach is a measurement of how many people your marketing or brand touched. So if you think about it like this, let's say uh, I invited somebody to my party and that person invited one other person. My party now has a reach of two. I reached the first person and by proxy, I reached the second person. And this is what happens in digital marketing. If I like or share a post or an ad that you've run, my audience of 6,500 people on LinkedIn and 2,500 on Facebook or whatever at the time of this video, your reach has now gone from one to like 8,000 people, okay? So reach is a very important uh, metric. Well, it's not, it's a metric, but you know, Google would call it uh, unique impressions. How many you individuals saw your ad? Uh, Facebook does call it reach. Uh, and also impressions, uh, reach measured by impressions. And, uh, and so reach is the pool of people that you've reached in total. Then there's awareness. Uh, so if you put a billboard on the side of the road, like uh, Mac is, right, when you're going on a road trip and uh, you're going on a road trip and you're driving for kilometers and kilometers and you see the McDonald's sign. Everybody that's driving around down that freeway, motorway, highway, whatever you call it, everybody that's driving down has been reached. That is the reach. But the awareness is a measure of the people who uh, turned their head uh, or who knew the brand. Now, of course, with McDonald's, their awareness is absolutely huge because they've got millions and millions and millions uh, billions of dollars to spend on brand awareness now here's this this is this is really important there's a really smart marketer uh, by the name of alan dib who created a a tool called the one page marketing plan and alan makes a really good point in his book that Small businesses tend to run a whole bunch of random marketing and then say, oh, they're doing it for brand awareness or they're doing it for awareness. Look, as a small business, you can't afford to have brand awareness. What you really need is direct response. Every single piece of communication you pay out to put out in marketing, uh, you need it to have a response. So to be clear, there are two kinds of awareness that we're talking about. The first kind is the kind that McDonald's has. Uh, they spend billions of dollars to run an ad that has no response required or call to action. It's just branding. Uh, I used to advertise for McDonald's, uh, dirty little secret. Uh, and one of the things that we would advertise is the feeling of nostalgia. There was no promo, no special, no call to action, no come in store and do this X, Y, Z. It was all about the brand, all about nostalgia. It takes a lot of money, significant amounts of money to make that strategy work, which is why it's TV works because it, it does brand awareness uh, and it costs a ton of money. Uh, you can run TV ads as a small business, by the way, and I might touch on that a little later. 
there is a way to do it. Now, it, it's a brand new thing uh, at the time of this video. The second kind of awareness that we're talking about is digital marketing awareness. And the simplest way to understand that is how many people turned their head? How many people saw the ad uh, and paid attention to it? How many people were made aware of your message? Okay, so really important thing, distinction to get right there. So you've got reach, you've got awareness. And the third principle is attraction. So now they turn their heads. Attraction is where they moved off the motorway, moved off their primary direction, and they've gone a little bit out of their way to stop in at your website or your landing page uh, or, you know, whatever it is you're offering, your blog or your content or what have you, okay? So that is attraction. So let's recap. The three principles that we need to understand are reach, awareness, and attraction. These are the uh, three pillars of the source of traffic. Uh, the, the amount of potential traffic we reach, the amount of that traffic, good traffic that becomes aware, and the amount of that aware traffic that gets attracted to us. Well, let's pause there. Which part of that is the most helpful to you right now? If you were to think about what could be improved right now in your business, is it the reach? Is it the awareness? Or is it the attraction?